Welcome to another unboxing slash hardware review. Um, this time, the Steam Controller. Um, so I was a huge um, Steam Controller um, skeptic. Um, I was At first I was really gung-ho when I heard the idea, um, the ability to use a controller um, for the Steam OS if you're in your living room and you want to um, be able to control a normal keyboard and mouse game with your Steam Controller. But then I kept hearing all these mixed reviews. Maybe it wasn't that good. Uh, for a lot of games, what you really want is an Xbox controller. And um, I have, even though I don't have an Xbox, I do have this Xbox 360 controller, which is awesome. It's really, really good for playing games. It pretty much um, everybody expects you to have an Xbox controller. And so they map the controls, you know, they, they'll tell you yellow or green or red or blue. Um, but when it came to time to buy Civ 6, they had a really awesome deal on the Steam Controller and I decided, hey, why not give it a shot? Especially when I was thinking about playing a game like um, FTL, which is mouse and keyboard only. How would I play that in the living room? So I got one. So let's start off by unboxing. And uh, after that, I will um, show you the experience when I first plug it in. Uh, and then I'll give you my first impressions as someone who was initially skeptical. Uh, and then I'll probably make a follow-up video um, after I've messed with it for a while. So let me just say that I love how professional and nice it looks. Uh, very, very cool packaging. Um, it says play all your Steam games from your couch. All right. So uh, what I expect will probably end up happening is that any game that works with a um, that works with a controller, I'll probably still end up using the Xbox controller because that's built to be a controller for those type of games. But for anything that was meant for mouse and keyboard, if I want to play it on my couch, I'll probably end up using the Steam controller. And then there might be some edge cases where uh, one or the other could work fine. So um, here I'm going to need to cut this open. nice look at that look how nice that looks just sitting right in there packaged looking at you it's pretty big uh, compared to has a very very different feel on my fingers huh that's gonna be another interesting part of the comparison um, it's really nice of them is that it comes with um, Duracell batteries which is really cool and then it comes with this um, little dongle to connect the, the um, controller and then I guess here's a little adapter. I'm not 100% sure what that's for. I guess we'll find out. There's a quick start guide. And, ooh, there's a nice little cable in here. Very cool. So it's very nice packaging. They've done a good job with all the packaging and everything looks really, really nice. There's even a little Steam logo here and a Steam logo here, and it looks really, really nice. So I'm gonna have to, um, oh, oh, and there's instructions inside of here. So I don't think I wanna take it apart right now, but if you look inside, it tells you how to put everything together and how to add the batteries. It's like a super duper quick start guide. So that's really cool too. So anyways, I'm gonna um, plug it in and you'll see my first, uh, you know, what it's like when you first plug one in. All right, so I'm back, and uh, so here's the controller. Look at the quick start guide. Um, tells me that I need to slide it here. That pops out, and I can install the batteries. I'm gonna go with the rechargeable batteries rather than the batteries that they gave me. And I just put this right back, and that's it. So they just popped in. So sorry, they popped in right here on the side. And uh, next, I'm supposed to push this button, which I'll do in a minute. All right, so um, here's my controller. And uh, so the next part of the instructions was to take the uh, little USB thing they gave me, little dongle, 
Um, so by the way, this is just if you need it to be away from your uh, computer. Like let's say you have too many devices there and this won't fit. That's a couple millimeters larger than the other thing. So you can use that if you need to. So I'm gonna plug it into my computer. Stupid USB, I wish it was USB-C, so it wouldn't matter which way I try to plug it in. Because of course, all ways that you try to plug it in always end up being the wrong way. There we go, so it's plugged in. Looking really quickly to see if I have any. So nothing's popping up on Windows. So now it says to push the button, so I push the button. Ooh, it went bleep. Now Windows is loading a driver and Steam is trying to get my attention. So the driver loading disappeared. Steam, ah, okay. So let me switch over to the other screen here. So it says, there's a new firmware for your Steam controller. Switch to big picture mode to be in the update process. Uh, so apparently I can't use it if I'm not in big picture mode. All right, so let's go back over to screen one. Let's go to big picture mode which takes over my screen too. Hopefully you're not seeing, so I'm gonna update the firmware. Uh, I'm gonna s push the little um, play button here. I'm not sure if that's the right button to push. Nope, A, A was the right button to push. Okay, it's uh, installing firmware. And my little Steam icon on here is pulsating. Oh, it has a heartbeat. All right. I do like the uh, the way that they've kind of put the little nubs around the edge of this here. It kind of gives you a good grip and a good idea of where you are on the controller. The idea of controllers having uh, firmware updates is kind of interesting. Uh, if that happens with the Xbox ones, I'm not familiar because of course, ah, so it's been updated. Okay, hit A again. No, A doesn't work this time. What button works? I'm not sure what button to use. There we go. All right. Ah, okay, so if I register it, then whatever I configure will follow it, even if I take it to a, my, you know, another house or whatever, so I will do that, maybe. Which button am I supposed to be pushing here? This. That's weird. There we go. Controller name, Steam controller, sure. Sound, yep, 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 submit. It's funny, I couldn't do that with the Steam controller. All right. So now it tells me I'm using my configs. My Steam controller. So I have to figure out what buttons do what. Oh, okay. So that's your left and right. Strangely, it's not, can't do anything with my controller. A, A is supposed to be the button, there we go. So this um, button here will give me my overlay. Similar to the way it works with Xbox or PlayStation on the, on the uh, system. Hit the Steam button, controller configs. Start with the community config. The grip buttons, which are back here, are great commands that you want to be able to use without removing your thumbs for the pad, like reload in a first person shooter. Okay. And the open keyboard, if you have to. Okay. Cool. So this shows as a keyboard game, but it actually works just fine with my um, Xbox controller. Okay, cool. Well, I don't think right now is the best time for me to to play uh, 
I'm just trying these buttons to see if they do anything. These buttons here don't really do anything in this screen. Um, it's basically your uh, your analog stick. I do like that little feedback that it's doing there. And I like all these uh, categories that they have in big picture mode. All right, well, anyway. <laughs> I will, uh, I'll probably test this out a little later today when I can guarantee that I'll have some time to play a game. And uh, I'll, do, I'll try and do it live so you guys can see how well it works for me. And uh, then after that, I'll probably use it a little while um, without explicitly um, recording it. Um, for example, if I want to use it on my uh, on my big screen TV, um, sometimes that's not the best for recording because the kids are there and everything. And uh, then I'll make another video to report back on uh, how I liked it. So uh, yeah, so at this moment, it looks like for this video, I'll probably be coming back and trying a game, maybe, maybe Civ. Civ seems like it would be a good game to try. And then, um, and then that'll be it, and we'll see what I think for my first impressions. So, I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, so um, originally I was going to do um, FTL as my original, as my first uh, time using the um, Steam controller. But um, then I thought, hey, since... Um, since it came with, it's coming with uh, Civ 6, maybe I'll play Civ 5 with it. Plus, I had seen someone um, do that in this uh, video that I was watching. It was the Linux Gamer. So, I'll do that. So, Steam controller configuration required. Okay. Um, not 100% sure what that means. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Steam controller configuration. All right. So up is to scroll up, down is to scroll down, left is quick save, right is strategic view. Then I guess this moves the camera around. Sleep and fortify, heal, cancel order, skip unit. This is the mouse. Um, now scroll up, and then end turn is back here. Uh, oh, this is the left mouse button, the right mouse button, which is kind of weird that they did it backwards. And then escape is this one back here. I'll do that. Select style of input direction pad, requires click on, layout, radio with overlap. Um, Sure. Not really sure. What I should be doing right now. Let's go back. Okay, I'm done. All right, I'm not sure if that uh, did what I need to do, but let's uh, give it a shot. See how easy this is to do. Oops, I did the wrong thing. What I wanted to do was hit A. Okay. I will hit play game. Uh, well, here's a uh, bit of a hiccup, isn't it? Okay. I'm not sure if it's going to go now or not. We'll see. So this is going to end up being both um, seeing how this controller works with Civ and also, ooh, wow. So even though there are clicks, this thing just kind of lets you move around like that. That's really neat. Wow. I can see, I can see why people are using it now for editing and stuff like that. Wow. That's cool. Kind of makes like a buzzing sound when I do that. 
maybe or maybe not picking up on the microphone, I'm not sure. All right, so since I'm in, all right, so let's see. So I would click, uh, what would click be? This, I guess. Oh, right, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna build my giant multiplayer robot game. All right, so now I should be able to go back to the game. And I've still got the controller. There we go. I tell you, this part is way less efficient than a mouse. I can move a mouse way faster than I can move that around. Um, although I could see how some people would. Um, Uh, would do okay with uh, fighter games. So right now it's getting really jumpy for me. I'm not sure. All right, that should work a bit better then. There you go. All right. Um, so I definitely see how this could work out pretty well. Um, if you are, if you have no choice but to play, uh, but to play, oops, but to play on a couch. However, it's not perfect. I couldn't figure out how to make those guys bombard. Okay, next turn. All right. I'll do one more. Once this turn submits. Okay. I'm just doing this with the mouse so it doesn't take so long. The Steam Big Picture running um, the game. Uh, OBS definitely is seems to be choking up. We'll see how this if this video is even usable. Although it only says it's using 15% of the CPU, but it's kind of choking in the my preview window here. All right, so let's hit continue. Okay, so I want to fight that guy. Um, over here, let's see. I want this guy to keep building the road. Oops, that's not what I wanted at all. Hmm. 
Well, it looks like he has a road anyway. We'll leave him here. All right, this guy can come up on a hill and uh, bombard. This guy can come up on the hill over here. I have to choose my research. I'll uh, go with chivalry. And then end my turn. But just kidding, I wasn't actually ending my turn. And he's going to go spread the good word. Okay, and again, I'll use this back button here to end my turn. So basically, I will say that uh, for someone that rarely even uses the mouse in Civ, I tend to actually be more of a keyboard person. Um, the controller is a lot slower, but it's definitely usable. I could definitely use this to play Civ um, in the living room, which is pretty nice. So, um, yeah, and next time I'll try FTL, and then we'll that'll that'll be my first impressions for the controller. So, um, I will see you uh, in you know instantaneously in the video, but in in a few days when I get another chance to record another video. Thanks for watching. All right, so uh, it's been about a month since uh, the previous part in the video, but I finally got a chance to um, get back into the game. Well, to get back to play games. And so let's um, take a look at uh, at FTL, which was uh, kind of the thing that convinced me to go ahead and do this. Um, so let's see. Let's go to games All right. Let's see they're in alphabetical order C D oh too far all right there's FTL which is a keyboard game control configuration required all right so they made these buttons the arrows um, these buttons are to walk. Let's see. F, R, E, space. This is the mouse. Left mouse, right mouse, which is always super confusing. Uh, scroll down, scroll up. Left control. Middle mouse. All right, I think this is going to be nice and complicated. All right. Oh, just like before with Civ, for some reason I didn't take my config. Let's see, control config, select. Sure. Yeah. Back, back. I think I have to export the config. No. I'm done. Now I think it's got it. I think it took, but I'm not sure. <coughs> All right, so I'm not sure if any of those things took. Set a nebula. 
So these buttons are definitely doing something. Uh, oops. Alright. Let's jump. We'll go here. Okay. Can't see anything, but uh, I'm bad. Alright. Let's jump to here. And I'm going to avoid provoking this ship. Jump to here. Alright. Got uh, some schematics. That's cool. Well, let's jump to here. Alright. It spots me. Power up the weapons. Okay. So, let's see. I want to click. Man, it's been a while since I played the game. Let's see. Click my weapons here. Not enough power. Auto fire. Alright. Matt is probably going to die for some reason. I'm not really sure why. See if I click on one of these guys. Let's see if I click on him. So moving doesn't seem to do. Oh, weird. Moving doesn't seem to do anything. Um, adding a little more power to the weapons. All right, looks like I can jump. There's the people in pursuit of me back there. I'm going to avoid this conflict. Why are my guys shooting each other? What is happening over here? Huh. I missed something there. <laughs> um, but I'm ready to jump. Let's see. Click and drag to rearrange. Interesting. Let's go to the exit of this area. Cool. And I don't have any drone parts, so I have to, all I can do is ignore the station. All right. So for the most part, it seems like the way that this thing was configured, it's possible that I messed up and I did the wrong thing. But assuming I did the right thing, none of these buttons seem to be doing anything. Oh, there we go. Wait a minute. Why did I do that? What did I do? No. Which seems like there's probably a better configura configuration out there I could use. Um, I'm going to jump and be done with this sector. But uh, yeah, so it's okay. I could definitely play like this on the couch. No big deal. And uh, not have any issues. Um, I would say that it, it succeeds. Although I would probably try and find a better uh, configuration that would work, uh, you know, a little bit better with you know, allow me to move the dudes around and all that stuff. Um, so that's that. So, um, oops. So my first impression of the controller basically is that, um, it's okay. It, it functions well. Um, it works fine for Civ. It's a lot slower than just using the keyboard and mouse. It works great for FTL. Um, in the next video, which will be like my second impressions, I'm going to take a look and see how well I feel that it works with um, a first person shooter. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, be sure to click the subscribe button. I also enjoy comments, so feel free to leave one below. I have a pretty eclectic channel. 
you'll see a selection of other videos you might enjoy, including from other categories than the video you just saw.